Minister Hilary Onek was the guest of honor at the passing out ceremony of 447 prison officers who successfully completed their 15 month training. The minister, in his keynote address, condemned the violent demonstrations in the city and described the opposition members as rogues who were using the protests as a ploy to get money from donors. The rogue politicians create scenarios to photograph in order to collect money from America. They create scenarios, they provoke police and find police and then they, they now retreat and then the camera covers when the police now charging on them. They take it to America, to British, Britain, where to collect money, deceive those people and collect money. They are call men. Why do you want to call Europeans in order to get money and you buy Equatorial Hotel, you buy buildings? Now, Onek added that the government is working on passing a law that will keep the opposition members in check. We are trying to take it to Parliament this public order management to, to control the hooliganism which is going on now in politics. The prison facilities constructed decades ago have recently become overstretched by the large number of inmates, something that the prison commissioner says will be improved. You are aware that we have already bought the place where we are going to recruit the prison. That is in Kasanje, which is Wakiso district. The poor condition at the prison and the current wave of protests by opposition members are the key issues that government intends to put an end to. Chris Sochamringa, NTV.